basketball, you. Betcha I'm back, baby. And this is going to be my favorite part of what I like to do, and that's fitness. Okay, so we're going to give you a little bit of fitness with basketball, you, as well as uh, uh, the handle, right? So first thing that we're going to do is we are going to use this as a focus workout, right? So it could be a warm up for you before a game or it can be a workout for you in general. So now we're gonna get into plank position and then we're gonna do um, up, up, down, down, okay? So basically you're in plank position like this, okay? Trying to keep that body straight, okay? We're gonna go up, up, then down, down. Up, up, down, down. Up, up. 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 Down, down. Great. So again, that one, you can do left or right, right or left, or you can do right, left, however you want to do it, whatever combination you want in that one. Um, again, starts to burn the core a little bit, still working those shoulders, working those arms, getting everything ready to go for this hoop that you're about to get into, right? Okay, great. Okay, so now we got donkey kicks. Okay, so with donkey kicks, and I'm gonna go like kind of diagonal for you, so you can see it. Just gonna be here, so not so much a plank position, but you're just here, we're on all fours, and we're just raising, raising. So we're going left foot first, sorry, left foot, left leg. We're raising, keeping those arms straight, keeping that body straight, just really working the kick in the back, right? You can do about 10 to 15 of these, okay? Getting those hips moving, right? Getting them warmed up, keeping them active. That's it, that's all we're trying to do. Great. Okay, once you've reached your max reps for that, I'm gonna just turn to the side so you can see it a little bit better, okay? We got right, okay, we got right. Now, hardwood floors, you know, different areas, surfaces are hard. So if you have like a little mat or pads, you can put them under your knees or like a shirt, anything. Um, that will help you just being on your knees for this long, okay? So, bam, we got the right, and we're just kicking up, okay? Keeping that body straight, nice and easy. And again, we're just trying to warm up all parts of our body, especially with playing all these basketball games now. Typically, you got two to three games a day on the weekends, depending on where you are could be different in a different country. So, just depends, just depends. All right, finishing it up. Very nice, great job, okay? Again, these are all simple, simple and easy warm-ups that you can do while you're waiting for a game, while you're getting ready for a game. Um, just, really just to wake up in the morning and do it too. Um, always good to move the movement is always good okay right? so keeping that moving forward we're going to keep on rolling with this exercise starting to get a little tired are you now again if you don't want to put too much strain on your body you can do knee push-ups or regular push-ups so i'm going to kind of do both of them for you you've seen them both probably done them in some type of pe or physical education class okay i'm going to go sideways so you can see it remember it's just going to be on your knees Kind of get those feet up a little bit so you can rock. Just takes a little bit of pressure off those shoulders and those arms. You don't want it to be too heavy, especially because we're about to play and shoot. So you just want to have a nice little easy pump. It's nice and easy. You know, 10 ain't too bad, right? Just pushing up. Nice and easy. So all work is easy work, right? All work is easy work. It's all you ever got to tell yourself when you're doing stuff like this. It's not really work. Keeping yourself healthy, 
you're keeping your mind right. And again, your body's starting to warm up and you're starting to focus. So it's something that you really want to pay attention to as you keep doing it, okay? Now, every push-up you've ever seen, okay? Good base, good stance. Trying to keep that butt down a little bit. Then nice and easy. Want to try to get full extension on your pump. Nothing too crazy. Just enough. Get that blood flowing. Ready to shoot from long distance, right? Okay, so that's kind of what we want. So, right there, I roughly did about 20. The easier ones were on the knees. The regular push ups put a little bit more strain. So, it's whatever that you can handle based on the time that you have. All right, good job. I'm breathing hard. Hope you are too. Okay, so we're back. And I'm not laying down here. I'm just, you know, taking it easy real quick. Well, my take it easy is a plank. So we're gonna go ahead and get down on this ground. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Crazy. So we're gonna be right here. Yep, you're gonna hear me breathe just a little bit because I'm gonna be close to that mic. And we're right here. Now we're planking. If you see my butt drop in the comments, tell me, get it up. Okay, tell me, get it up. You know, I can't help, I can't have you guys try to have a strong core. And then my butt starts to back. Oh, gotta get it up. Gotta get it up. Come on now. Come on now. We're only doing it for 30 seconds. Don't start shaking on me. Don't do it. Don't start shaking. Okay, because I already know it's coming. So you'll stop at 15 or 20 when you could just get through that 10, right? Talk through it, sing your favorite song. These are things you got to do to get your mind off of it, right? It's all temporary pain. Just get through it, all right? Oh, yeah, I'm shaking now. So you know what that means. I'm getting up. Oh, goodness. Oh, great job. Okay? The plank again is just activate that core, warm it up just a little bit, okay? So now we got mountain climbers. So we're gonna get right into those. If you've never done those before, again, here's a quick example of it. And then we're gonna get right into it, all right? So everything that I'm gonna give you, there should be an example of it each time. And if I forget one of the times, come on, man, I'm gonna be doing these exercises every day with you, so you'll be good to go, all right? So if you haven't seen it today, you'll see it another day, okay? So to kind of ease that variation of what it looks like, bam, we're gonna start going, okay? It's like a plank almost, but those legs are bent, and then you're gonna speed it up. Come on, come on. Speed it up. Good. Stay with me, stay with me. If I'm sweating, you're gonna be sweating. So let's keep sweating together. I want you eating potato chips and then watching this, figuring out why I got buff, how I got a six pack. Good. I want you to get one with me. Come on, man. That's why you use the fitness part. I know you want to see some more encore stuff. I got you. Don't you worry. And again, I'm gonna have other people working out because you guys want me to do fitness. Y'all want me out here dunking. You want me out here going through the legs. You want me to make every shot. When I get to sleep, I'm not even get to sleep. Come on, basketball, you. Only one guy. I appreciate you coming through. Let's keep working. All right, I'm gonna end it with this. And I'm gonna talk to you while I'm doing it. This is everybody's favorite. Okay, so you can do it with a basketball. I'm gonna do it a little bit with a basketball. Okay, wall sit. Very easy, right? So we're here. We're sitting on that wall. Piece of cake. Now, don't cheat it and start leaning forward. Try to get in that chair. Try to relax, right? So you got the ball to kind of keep you busy. And again, you can do ball things, right? To keep it active, All right? You can move it around your legs a little bit, which yes, it does make you lean a little forward, but it kind of keeps your mind off of, right? Because I could sit here for a while and do this, right? Oh, oh, All right? So you can use this. You can squeeze it. You can put it between your legs and squeeze, which is great because it's good for your core, right? But then it starts burning these, so it starts shaking. So there's a lot of things that you can do with the basketball. And uh, it's just really awesome to be able to sit down and be getting some work done, right? Okay. So again, basketball you, as we end this workout, you've completed it. Okay. You can cool down with like a little walk or some different stretches. And uh, we're pretty much finished. Basketball you.
Thank you for coming through. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We're doing this every day. Are you going to be with me? I hope so. And remember, someone's always working. Are you? Better be.